Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is class? The camera anim. Let me fire up a quick little example so I can cover what we're gonna cover. When I hit play anim, we are playing a camera anim, and that's it. The camera anim is basically a matinee recording or a cinematic recording of animation and other various changes to a camera that you can play on the current player or any player's camera. So let's look at that. This is a camera anim. This is the one I was actually playing. If we look at it closer, we'll notice that I have a few keyframes here. On my rotation, basically I'm starting at nothing. Here, let me pull this actually up to here. So I'm starting at nothing, and I'm proceeding along, giving a little bit of variation after a third of a second, back to start at two thirds of a second, a little bit of variation at one second, and then technically, if I would remember to move this over, I would get a little bit more variation back to start, stupid thing, at 1.33 or one and a third seconds. So I'm basically oscillating the camera back and forth, kind of like a little bit of a shaky motion as you can see there. Now for the camera anim, you can right click in your content browser, go to miscellaneous and go to camera anim. We'll call this one a new camera anim. And we'll open it up. When you open it up, it's going to open it up in our matinee system. Now, while matinee may be legacy at this point, you still use it for the camera anims. The biggest difference between this and a matinee is you cannot right click anywhere in here and add different groups. You're only going to have a camera anim track. That's your first big difference. Now the camera anim, if you've never used matinee, it works pretty much like any other animation system. I will briefly cover how we might make one, but the actual matinee system is beyond the scope of this video and is covered separately. So what I might want to do, let's say our goal is to have this animation do what we just did before. We'll have it, we'll have it shake left and right. We're going to have it shake left and right instead of rotate. So I might want to add a new movement track and the movement track is basically tracks the movement of the camera, usually local and relative to the player, well, not the player, local and relative to the camera. It is an option to make it different, but for the most part, you're going to use the camera anim on the camera. So right here on this camera that you see right here that I choose, it's going to play it on here and make it look like our player is physically being moved by an external force. That's usually what it's for. Or if you're walking or running, maybe you have a little bit of a head bob. Now, I have a movement track here. What I want to do is actually split the track into my translation and rotation. And I'm going to go ahead and delete my extra keys. Let's figure out what I want to do. Now, I haven't done this before, so let's see what it is. So we're going to want to move it left and right. So we're going to want to translate on the Y. So let me delete my other keys. We'll go ahead and start off zero, which is fine. We will add another key. Oh, right around here. We hit enter to add another key. Again, these are just matinee controls. Maybe we'll do another one here. We'll go back to our endpoint. And we'll basically go up, down, and then back to normal is what I want to do. So let me map this one up top and fit. Wow, I did some ugly work there. So this one is set time zero. We're good there. And set value is zero. And then we're going to want to set time 0.33 and set value. Oops. There we go. Set value. Let's go with negative 0.15. Pretty sure I've kind of messed this up from the start, but this is what we have to figure out. So that one's 0.33. Let's find our 0.66. 
and we'll set the time at 0.66 we're gonna set this value at 0.15 on the positive because the last one was on the negative and then we'll find our last value here set the time one second set the value of zero now hopefully if this fits properly again there we go we'll get a little curve like I intended we're gonna go down a little bit up a little bit and down a little bit now if I was to save this as my new camera anim let me go into my play camera anim blueprint this is what we're using for my testing all of these nodes are covered separately we'll go to new camera anim and we'll hit play close the matinee and hit play anim and there we go as you can see it moves back and forth now I only chose a very small variation amount on our anim itself the 0 0.15 0 0.15 is very small but when I'm playing I'm scaling it up by 30 just so that way I have adjustability again the play camera anim node is handled separately I wanted to just show you what the camera anim was it's a class that basically holds information about a camera and then use the matinee to track what you want to do there are other options you have things like a vector property linear colors floats there are various other things like here's a linear color you can change all these other parts on the camera itself indirect lighting color lens flare you know you have options and I'm not going to cover all of these obviously like here's a float property so you can change things like the post processing lens flares aspect ratios orthographic width field of view so you have access to most properties on your camera itself all accessible through here like here's a vector in terms of scale color gain and contrast I don't know why I'm going through it again but regardless that is what a camera anim is it's a camera animation that will be applied to a camera of your choice when you're using one of the play nodes it's going to by default be relative in terms of the translation rotation any any adjustments to that camera itself and it's used for customizable configurable control over camera animation you have your shaking but your shaking is generally a random and it's a uses a um, sign pattern in order to do the shaking it's meant just to like shake back and forth or rotate back and forth this one yes I moved it back and forth but that's not stopping me from just making for example a sharp change here and making it more pronounced like that going into here and hitting loop hitting play closing my matinee and hitting play and you'll notice it's a lot different than just something that's subtle you see some snapping you see some movement like that so that's something to keep in mind the camera anim is there if you want a fine-tuned camera animation to playback on a player camera that's going to wrap up our camera anim